To look at, Tim was a perfectly ordinary boy. His hair stood on end and his face was never quite clean. His jeans were definitely dusty and his t-shirt always managed to be back to front. But all this could happen to anyone. What made Tim quite different from anybody else was his voice. Tim's voice was truly amazing. It was like a cross between a factory hooter and a foghorn, or perhaps a roll of thunder and a ship's siren. There was nothing he could do about it. It was just something he had been born with. His parents, of course, noticed his voice right from the start. When Tim was a baby, he would, like any other baby, let out a cry to tell everyone that he wasn't happy. Only it wasn't so much a cry. It was more like, well, an alarm bell going off. It certainly alarmed the neighbours. They used to gather in the street outside the house and discuss in worried whispers whether they ought to call the police. They were certain something terrible was happening. Tim's parents had to explain. It's, it's his, his voice, voice, you see. see. Tim, Tim has, has this very, very loud voice. voice. Even so, when Tim was christened, the vicar, who had been warned beforehand, wisely wore earmuffs. Do you hey, remember? I'm the highlight of your day, because I'm the highlighter. Everyone should have a highlighter. I help you find the answers in the text by highlighting the key words and phrases. Fill in the missing words where the green squares are. To do this, first, Find the key words and phrases in the sentences below and then match them to words in the text. Tim seemed a very ordinary boy. The key phrase here is ordinary boy. Find ordinary boy in the text above. Yes, sir. Tim seemed a very ordinary boy. His face was never quite... <coughs> face is the key word. Have you found it? Hey, wait a minute. Give me a chance. His face was never quite clean and he wore his <coughs> back to front. Back to front is the key phrase in the text. What did he wear back to front? Highlighting back to front. Back to and he front. wore his t-shirt back to front. He had a very loud <coughs> Loud is the key word here. The text does not use the word loud, but it uses loud things to describe the missing word. Hmm, what loud was very loud? Factory hooter. There we go. He had a very loud voice. He had had it since he was a... Had it since is the key phrase here. The text does not use the phrase had it since, but says had been born with. So he must have had it since being a baby. Uh -huh. He had had it since he was a baby. It worried that... Worried is the key word. The word alarmed means the same. It worried the neighbours. They thought they should call the... Call is the key word. Now try and find it Easy. in the text. They thought they should call the police. When Tim was christened, the v wore earmuffs. Christened and wore earmuffs need to be found oh, in the text. Uh -huh. so it must be when vicar. Tim was christened, the vicar wore earmuffs. More to think about. To answer these questions, you're going to need me again. I will highlight all the key words or phrases from the questions and text. Number one. In the story, Tim's voice is described as being like other loud noises. A. What was it like when he was a baby? Was a baby shows this part of the text is about when he was a baby. Like an alarm bell says what the sound was like. It was like an alarm bell going off. B. What noises was it like when he got older? Boy shows he is now older. Like a cross between a factory hooter and a foghorn. 
or perhaps a roll of thunder and a ship's siren says what the noise was like. His voice sounded like a cross between a factory hooter and a foghorn or a roll of thunder and a ship's siren. 2. Describe what Tim usually looked like. This whole paragraph describes Tim, but there are some key words which we can use to make our sentence. He looked like an ordinary boy. His hair stood on end and his face was quite dirty. He wore dusty jeans and his t-shirt was back to front. Number three. Why did the neighbours think they should call the police? First, we need the word neighbours. Ought to call the police is the same as should call the police. The next sentence explains why. Because they were certain something terrible was happening. Number four. Did Tim make loud noises because his parents were unkind to him? The sentence does not say anything about the parents being unkind. The sentence before parents says how he got his loud voice. No, it was just something he was born with. Number five. How did the vicar know he should wear earmuffs? If we look for the word vicar and earmuffs, we will find the answer. Between them both. Because he was warned beforehand. Now try these. We say things are like or similar to other things, so we can describe these things to people or aliens. When we do this, we are using similes. Similes use like oh or as. Like such a smelly, find the like similes the in the sentences below. To do this, first find like and as in the sentences. Then find the thing or noun they are saying it is like. This comes after the like or the second as. A. Tim's voice was like a foghorn. Like a foghorn. B. Tim's mother thought her baby was as pretty as a picture. As pretty as a picture. C. Some people said Tim's voice was like a ship's siren. Like a ship's siren. D. When Tim was a baby, he sounded as loud as an alarm bell. As loud as an alarm bell. E. When Tim was older, he could call across the playground as easy as pie. As easy as pie. Number two. Let's read these animals to the beat with Dr. Dog. Fox, hare, lark, eel, owl, tortoise, mule, rabbit, mouse, lion. Now complete the similes by adding the animal which matches the adjectives. Let's read the answers to the beat. As brave as a lion, As cunning as a fox, as timid as a rabbit, as quiet as a mouse, as fast as a hare, as happy as a lark, as slow as a tortoise, as obstinate as a mule, as slippery as an eel, as wise as an owl. 